Team Fortress! Yes, I know this man. But to find him now would be your death. If the storms do not kill you, the mountains will. He comes here every month for supplies. Are you sure you will not wait for him? Your interrogation techniques won't work on this GI, comrade! I've been in POW camps, voluntarily, and every last one of them broke before I did and asked me to leave. Do you hear that communist listening devices? You can't stop us from finding our friend! At least take these coats. Please, do not die. Yes. Eyes, I'm gonna stop you right there. That probably says Soviet or Stalin. Socialism. This is a propaganda coat. You see this, old woman? This is an American coat made by an American company. It is good. It is strong. It is... Tatter, tatter, tatter. I am too cold to pick that up. Do not touch it. I don't want you reverse engineering our American coat technology. How'd it go? They know where Heavy is? Did they have any coats? You did ask about coats, right? Pa! We don't need directions. We know he lives in the mountains, right? Well, they are not hard to miss. Move out! I swear to God, if they had coats in there. Part 3! A Cold Day in Hell! Sexton, Margaret, do come in. I was just reading a classic work of literature. It's one of mine. Charles f***ing Darling, Megs! You're working for Charles f***ing Darling? It's more complicated than that. I... Is it, Margaret? I think it couldn't be simpler. Tell me, Sexton, do you like my mountings? Huh! When did you start fighting f***ing animals? All right, the swearing's getting a little excessive. Why don't we all take our foot off the swear pedal? And anyway, these animals aren't dead. They're just sad. I make them stand on boxes, you see, so I can look into their hilariously defeated eyes any time I like. A Himalayan wildebeest? A snow leopard? But all these animals are extinct. Almost, yes. They're the last of their breeds, actually. When they die, their kind will be gone forever. Unless there was a way to make them immortal. I'll get you Manco back, Saxton. If you can get me Australia. Australium? That's all you want? I've got tons of it back in your vault, yes. It's gone. I trust you remember your... administrative associate. Helen? Sure, buys hats and guns from me. Works with the mercs. Why? It turns out she's been doing a bit more than that. Playing two old gravel magnates against each other, establishing thousands of shell companies, filling entire coal mines with bodies, and, over the course of a hundred and fifty years, stockpiling the largest supply of Australium in the world. Which raises the obvious question, why? You! This is all your fault! Ho ho ho! You'll start before you reach me, soldier! So says Christopher, the communist mountain! You will get closer when I crawl towards you, mountain! That is an order! Huh? Why would you be starving, soldier? Siberia's a land of plenty. You could eat the wildlife. No. Your hands. No. Your friends. You okay, pal? I need you to listen very carefully, giant hot dog. I am going to eat you. Yeah, that, that's good. Listen, stop being crazy for a second and check it out! Pyro found out what happened to Amelia Earhart! Even found me something to wear so I can stop freezing to death! Check out the mustard lines on this baby! 
I can feel stuff happening in my body again! I would like to feel things happening in my body. Are there more hot dog costumes? Why would Amelia Earhart have two hot dog costumes? Nah, you're gonna have to face facts. Probably you're gonna die. There's nothing me or the hot dog costume can do for you now. The hell? Bears! Ah, <sighs> oh, crap! How'd they find us? They couldn't have tracked us. We've been stealthy like shadows. Something must have brought them here. There are only two things that attract bears. Honey... And menstruating women! My god, I knew it! Somehow I always knew! Pyro! Oh. Stop blocking the door! Good lord, this plate is filled with honey! Amelia Earhart's famous sweet tooth has doomed us all! Quickly, men! We need to eat all this honey before the bears get here! You're just covering yourself in it. Quickly, men! Eat this honey off me before the bears get here! Lady! Oh, God. Oh, God. I am so full over here. How many crates we eat so far? Approximately none. We are three jars into the first crate. Plan B! We need to fix this plane before the bears get here! Soldier, I don't think the damn bears are coming. Ah, uh, hell. Uh. A tonk! Scout! No! If you need me to hold your guts and scream at the sky, I have a speech prep. Nah, I'm fine. What's the Ben Amelia Earhart bones? This hot dog's full of her. Uh -huh. Shake, shake, shake. Hey, I bet the skeleton's worth some money. Whoa! Uh, that hurt, you stupid bear. All right, that does it. Come get your hot dog, pal. Cause I am gonna relish this. Good one, son. Thanks, soldier. Pet him up. I am the best at hitting bears. Oh, come on. Of all the bones and all the hot dog costumes in Siberia, I gotta get the one made out of eggshells. Crap, more bears. Come on, Amelia, where's your other femur? Damn it, nothing but finger bones down here. Soldier, what the hell? You gonna jump in here or... or... Oh. Don't worry, Scout. I am nude and covered in honey again. See Naked Tales of Valor, 1 through 37, Scout's Worst Double Dates, number 14. Let's grapple some damn bears! Ha-ta! Next net! Whoa, slow down, youngster. You might trip and start a fire, and fire is nobody's friend. That... that's enough, Pyro. You're launching bone shards everywhere. Some of us are naked here. Oh hey, it's Heavy! Way to show up two minutes late to a fight, pal! Sorry we killed all the bears in Siberia for you! These bears were babies. Yeah, yeah, everything's a baby to you. No. These bears were babies. Her babies. Cringe! Oh, this should be good. Huh. Some idiot stuffed this costume with organs instead of cotton. There's even a beating heart in here. Wait, never mind. It's not. Thump! Show that bear who is boss, son! Pyro, I think Scout's dead. Maybe we should... Ooh, never mind. The fight's about to start. And the bear killed every last one of them. Except for Claude Huggins, who hid under the corpse of his wife until the bear left. Too scared to leave, he found a town in the very spot of the mauling, on top of her skeleton, and called it Hugginsville. In 1847, a wandering pack of teenage bullies forced him to rename it Two Farts. After they left, he was too scared to change it all the way back. Thus, Two Fort was born. Wow, this is fascinating! 
Are all these books about Tier 4? Nope, that's the only one. I wrote it. Well, I hope you're as good at burning books as you are at writing them, Terry, because the rest of these are gonna have to go. <laughs> oh, hello. Can I help you? Oh, I doubt it, but here goes. I'm looking for census records dating back to 1850. In the room marked census records, there's just a vat of what I hope to God is fudge. Oh gosh, I wish I could help you too. But some crazy lady came in here last week asking for our 1850 census. Then she burned it. We do have a book about Two Fort though. Or if you're interested in a not about Two Fort book, you can always leave because you're not welcome here. How is one mousy little girl and a group of morons constantly one step ahead of us? Dunk. Mr. Do, is there anything I could get you? Some wine? Or I could take your helmet? Or I could give you a towel, or... Soldier, put pants on. Please, you're starving. At least eat something. No can do, heavy's communist mom. I am from America. This broth will not nourish me. Even though it does smell delicious. As well it should, soldier. For that is the way of all temptations. Hello, everyone. It is I, George Washington. Hold on, soldier. It is I, Benedict Arnold. Do not make my mistake. I carry the chains of the soup I did not eat in life, and history has made me a monster for it. Eat the soup, soldier. I cannot tell a lie. Yes, it is true. Benedict Arnold's greatest crime was not eating soup. But the circumstances were vastly different, soldier. Allow me to explain at great length. Boring moral choice. Soldier, wait. Before you choose, it is I, a big hot dog! I exist in a terrifying food-based limbo, because I was not eaten in life! Eat the soup, and save my soul! Son, I offered your friend soup and he has been screaming for five minutes! And now your other friend is screaming. So he lives. Zana is ministering to him. I would like it if Zana ministered to him less. Ah! Spy is my dad! Spy is my dad! Oh, oh, thank God. Not a memory. Just a dream. Where the hell... Hello, little man. I am Zana. I have been trapped in this frozen prison since I was a girl. You are the first man I have seen in 20 years. Today, we... make... sex. What? I mean, yeah! I'll make you some sex, alright! They call me the sex maker! Why, you ask? I did not ask this. Well, I'll tell you anyway. It's because I am pretty much the best at sex. Footnote to that statement. Other things I am best at. Why will you not shut up? It feels like I'm shutting up. Why am I still talking? Hmm? Tears, mood, more of this. Hey, 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 dummy. Why did you forget about me over here? I don't see no rings on these fingers, Miss Pauling. In fact, I've known you for six years now, and I'm pretty sure we're not even dating. You got that right. But you know what book-smart ladies like me find sexier than anything? Waiting patiently for me to change my mind. Yeah, the waiting game works every time. Eventually. Yeah, it does. Yep. Yeah, it does. Meanwhile... Rip. Jana, there's something I need to tell you. Eventually. This is gonna be pretty devastating, so I'll break it you in stages. Ugh, how can Tiny Man hold so many words? Blah, 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 blah. You. Back off, lady. I'm eating both of these. Make love to me. 
Okay. Whoa! We have cooked dinner! It is bear. Again. Brother, why did you catch a bear? You knew we were out hunting! It was not planned, Yama. I will explain later, but for now we have company. Some men I used to work with are here. Mm. Mm. Bonjour. Good day, lady. Hello, ladies. Let me apologize in advance, because I'm taken. I have a girlfriend now. Mm. We're getting the team back together. Miss Pauling needs us, Heavy. And we need you. You gotta come back. No. I have obligations here to protect my family. I have let them down enough. They must never be put in danger again. This is the last we will discuss this. You will leave in the morning. You know what, brother? No, we will discuss this more. You have protected us all our lives. We can never repay you for all that you have sacrificed for us. So please, do not take this the wrong way. But if I have to spend one more day locked in this cabin eating bear meat, I am going to lose my fucking mind, Misha. Jana. Jana. Bronislava. I know it is hard, but the people who hurt us before, who took us away, there will always be more like them. If I wasn't here, they would come. They would find you. Misha, men have come. What? While you were away, in America. We did not want to worry you. I see. You... But you probably did not make them suffer. Oh, Misha, we did, I promise you. You are just saying this. No, I swear. We butchered them like hogs. Their screams died on their lips. You see... I guess you are all grown-up girls now. Big girls who do not need bossy old Misha anymore. Oh, Misha, you are our big brother. You'll always look out for us, and we love you for it. But now you must let us look out for ourselves. Oh, no, no. This mission, it will be dangerous? Oh yeah, it will. It pays well? Probably. I forgot to ask. But there will be evil men? And we will destroy them? Heck yeah! Then Heavy is back, babies! Hooray! I am back from the bathroom and everyone is happy! I am going to Paris! I want to see New York! Forget those crap holes! Let's go to America! But you told me you live in Stink Barn. Stink Barn? I wish. No, I'm homeless. But I promise we'll get the biggest, stinkiest barn money can buy once I'm done with this job! Hmm... What kind of job? Oh, all of my babies are leaving. Here, I packed some bear meat for your trip. Mama, you are coming with us. And we are never eating bear meat again. You came highly recommended, you know. I promised you a small fortune, and you've delivered nothing! Would you like to know what I think? I think you're just a sorry pack of broken down old- We found them three weeks ago. We know what they're up to, and we know where they're going next. Are you- Are you kidding me? You've known the whole time? Why the hell haven't you attacked them, you mercenaries? Fall in! We haven't moved on them because you don't want them. You want her. And they don't know where she is yet. But they're close. She'll have to reveal herself soon. When she does, we'll kill all of them. You'll get your rocks. And we'd better get paid. Men! We are all moving out. You'll be briefed on the bird. Remember, these morons are... 
Hold on. Where's the new guy? Wait, are we leaving? What about the baboon uteruses? What the hell are you talking about? What baboon uteruses? The ones I'm sewing into you. I haven't gotten to everyone yet. Can I just say what a pleasure it's been to work on such blank canvases? If I didn't know any better, I'd say your last medic barely experimented on you at all. I swear to God, if you put a single uterus in my men... Oh, come now, it's perfectly safe. I put three in Greg, you don't hear him complaining. You said you were filling a cavity. I was. The one I made in your abdomen. Wait, where are we going anyway? We're hunting your old team. That a problem? <laughs> A chance to test my latest triumphs against my earliest experiments? No, that won't be a problem at all. Darling, I'm only gonna say this once. I will never work for you. Okay, now I won't ever say that again. Now tell me what I need to do to get my company back. I've arranged travel for you and Margaret. Your plane leaves in an hour. We got heavy, Miss Pauling! Good. Get back across the border. I've got a plane waiting for you in Kotzebue. On it! You think he's there in- Oh, he's definitely here. Let's just hope he's happy to see us. To be continued! <laughs>